What's up you guys and welcome again to another Vlogtober vlog. Today I'm going to be picking up where I left off there beforehand. It's another awesome little day and yes it's gotten a little bit later than what I was hoping for but you know sometimes my little brain is everywhere but recording these videos truly does help me focus on what I need to do because first of all the phone is busy recording so I don't get stuck doom scrolling somewhere and otherwise I get to share it with you guys and really see a time lapse of my progress when it comes to cleaning so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with some of this cleaning and I'm gonna show you how it is so if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you're new here welcome my name is King Inc I honestly do a lot of variety content like vlogs food reviews you know little adventures here to the town and whatever it may be that I want to do to make the next day better than the last and honestly it really is just getting my fucking life together now, bringing you, you guys along with me because i may not have the most like pizzazz and everything and like cool ass like events and things that i go to but it's just kind of real it's just kind of raw so you know how it is when you're like chilling with your friend on facetime because you're trying to get your laundry done that's kind of the vibe so far for today so again hit the subscribe button down below make sure to follow me on all my social media down below in the description leave yourself comments and make sure to hit that fucking like button and boost me in that algorithm so we can get some more awesomeness going on so we're gonna go ahead and, and dive right into this so currently so it's a lot of the pantry space out there is held up by a lot of the other roommates that i have which is like five other roommates basically this is the little shelf that i've got going right now of course i'm gonna be reorganizing this and trying to bring some of it outside to the outer pantry but again i have this giant bookshelf to be able to put away the dry goods and some more stuff that i done is honestly go through it and it's kind of a wreck right now so that's kind of like the project for today because i got a lot of stuff out to be donated but then this is a lot of the cans that i have left over i won't I won't lie, it looks like we're gonna have some rotini soup for lunch and dinner today because I was able to find three cans of some tasty ass soup that I really liked. And ooh, a fucking twisted tea. I might chill that and have me a little twisted tea. So another thing that I got done with today, very proud of myself, is that I cleaned off the little shared bathroom space. I got my mouthwash right there. And don't worry, that soap has like a chunk of herbs in it because it's like herbal type soap. So don't worry, that's why it looks yellow and funky. It's because it literally has like a big fucking chunk of leaves in it herbs so we got this nice and clean and of course it's as good as this fucking shitty apartment can possibly be that's why you see that that shit's missing this is bleached i literally had to add new like caulking to the edges and yeah it's not perfect but i had to landlord special that shit because that's what they're gonna do anyways i cleaned up my little corner as well i got my little shades right there i got my sun bum i got my neutrogena some of my sunscreen as well as my fragrances my toothbrush my little there's like a little bit of makeup there but it's kind of just for like my eyebrows and shit sometimes whenever i go to work or i go to an event otherwise this is my little line of all my little samples of cologne because i am a big cologne fan a big fragrance fan and this is the only way that i can really tap into that world on a budget so we're not here to judge people we all balling on a budget sometimes and this is what really helps me out on those days that i want to feel fancy this is the one that popped out on me today we got the les infusions de prada so we got some prada and i'm totally mispronouncing that i'm sure no accent oh my god i'm so sorry i really want to i really want to learn how to say these now we got Flor de oranger here and we're gonna try this out this one just kind of like fell on me when i was trying to organize stuff so it spoke to me it spoke to me personally and this is what i'm gonna wear so. hell yeah i'm kind of terrible at describing these scents sometimes but this is like of course powdery and then smells kind of like a department store but like the good nostalgic vibes along with like cucumber like it's like a fresh scent and I, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. When it was like around the time for me to dye my hair again, I fucking realized that this bitch is empty. So I'm throwing this out, but this is what I used the last time. Manic Panic in Electric Tiger Lily. Sadly, Manic Panic doesn't seem to win on my charts. So far, the best one has been Arctic Foxes Electric, like... Ooh, I don't remember the name, but it was like a neon orange. But so far, the Arctic Fox is the one that's stayed in my hair for the longest because I sadly do wash my hair like every single day. I'm trying not to do that. I need a better, better like hair care routine. So let me know down below if you have any suggestions for somebody with like, like greasy hair, yet it's like thick and still fluffy still. But I do struggle with a lot of like, and I'm gonna be real. Don't even hate on me. I struggle with dandruff sometimes. So conditioner has for sure helped. It's like a moisture issue. Again, cleanliness, of course 
just because people have dandruff it does not mean that they're dirty they're nasty it's one of my biggest insecurities that i've always had but i've been able to come to terms with it and it has helped me find better solutions for it instead of just fucking judging myself all day and letting other people judge me when they're fucking misinformed about it they're like oh dirty ass greasy ass and i'm like i, I shower every single day I need to moisturize, okay? And then it got worse when I moved over to California because this shit dry as hell because I grew up in Florida. But yeah, so if you guys have any recommendations for that, I am, somebody said coconut oil, but I don't know. I always get people going back and forth and being like, no, you don't know anything about hair. Blah. And I'm like, mm, I'm gonna I'm need, I'm gonna need suggestions because I have no idea. But yeah, I'm trying to look for some more permanent neon orange to dye this bleach part of course i need to bleach it again because it's on the yellow side but i kept it more on like the you know burnt burnt orange rusty copper side because i don't have orange right now i don't have orange as you can see opal is here for moral support i was able to bring out four cans of soup that i'm going to be heating up here is the rest i was able to find two more bags that are going to be donated again this is just the next day i'm still waiting on the pickup confirmation for that appointment right there and as you can see here this is kind of like the aftermath a whole bag of like salt kind of like fell there not a whole bag but some of the salt fell so i have to vacuum that up later and then over here have this all the cans are off the floor and stacked up and organized by categories and the rest of the shelves i won't lie have to be fixed up i'm hoping to honestly move a lot of the pantry stuff back outside if we do have the space for it actually put some decor up here or it looks like that this shelf as you can see here i mean i don't know if you can see it it's only being held up by those two cans of ground pork right now so this bookshelf might be nearing its end honestly but we're gonna keep using it while we get the chance and yeah that's kind of basically it for today i'm very proud of myself because i got a lot of this organized this isn't too organized but it's just a small little nightstand and right now it has all of my tuna and some of my drinks i think that's gonna be it for today thank you so much again for joining me for another get my life together organize with me type blog it's kind of hard sometimes having a space where you share it with somebody but it's okay we work through it and we're figuring it out because we all start somewhere i don't think we should judge ourselves for like everything sometimes like right now i'm very grateful to be out here and moved out and in my own place although it sometimes does take a little bit of effort of course to keep it organized and keep it together i like that it's my decision i like that i get to do it by my standard and what i want to do and doing doing it as frequently as i want to do it because before i had so many roadblocks that would stop me from really catering my room to the way that i wanted to be and especially with october october is kind of like and fall mainly is kind of like that fresh clean breath of air and also because it gets colder outside so i don't overheat whenever i try to clean everything so it's kind of like a boost of motivation to hurry up and get a lot of this hard work done before the rest of the year where you don't even get the chance to really turn the air conditioning on so hopefully again manifesting and with the help of you awesome people out there who watch my channel all the time that we get to move out of here and you are here with that journey my journey of growth my journey of inspiration of doing whatever the fuck i want in my room and you know working hard because you can manifest 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 as much as I want to, but you gotta back that shit up with that hard work. So yeah, we're just getting my shit together incrementally. Maybe it's one percent a day sometimes, but other days I'd be pushing it hard. And every day I'm always open to advice and what we want to do next. So leave your suggestions down below. Thank you so much everybody for watching. It's been King Inc here. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers and my new followers all over my social media. That's linked down there in the description down below. And make sure to check out my merch. Thank you so much for all your awesome feedback. And I'm always happy to see you guys over there on my website site so thank you so much you guys i hope you guys have a great one make sure to subscribe and like and hit that little notification bell so you do remember my videos drop so you can keep up to date so thank you so much you guys and have a great one goodbye